All right, Clanners, this is Ezel Dog, a Red Hot Heat with a Red Hot Replay, bringing you a little bit of tunes in the background inspired by Gun. This is our latest win against Dogs of War. Got a lot of three stars to show you from our Town Hall 9s, but we're going to start with a two star by a Town Hall 8. Taking on a Town Hall 9. Oh no, this is this is on defense. Pardon me. It is uh, Jacob versus number 9, but on attack. Where are we at? I hate trying to find this one. Here it is. 13 versus 9, not 9 versus 13. Alright, Jacob's coming in with a Town Hall 8 Go White against this Town Hall 9. And so the first question this raises is how are you going to get into the core without jump spells as a Town Hall 8? And he's going to do it with Rages. He's going to Rage his Wall Breakers through that layer. And then his Pekkas and Heroes and other troops are going to just chop right through, trying to get to that queen. She's like a magnet. And he's going to put the poison down against these uh, low HP clan castle troops. Got a heal for them in the core, getting to town hall. I don't know what these guys are thinking with their CC troops. Uh, I don't think it's it's swung around to where nothing is poisonable so no one's using poison because they want to use haste instead so you can put weak troops in the CC. It's just, it's not like that. Because um, like I said in the last video, even if you have high HP um, clan castle troops, the way the poison slows them, slows their movement and slows their attacking is a big advantage against balloons and dragons that are slow enough already. All right, well, Jacob's got the town hall, and now he's cleaning up the percentage points. Great job by him. Everyone was cheering him on for this one. And I think this happened uh, because of the fact that all the town hall eights were cleared, so he was attacking up, uh, trying to help out, scout the base, and just work on his techniques here in the war. Very nice. Okay, uh, we'll just run through and show the three stars. We're not going to show any Town Hall 7s or 8s. We've seen them. The Hogs are pretty much locked down. We know how to do it. Uh, Charles had a 6-star war. We're going to look at his second one a little later on. We'll start here with James. Coming in with a Gola Loon with one Golem. And he's clearing out all the trash up there at the top. Boy, that Golem went all the way around to that cannon. Uh, again, weak CC troops. He's right there with it on the poison. The wizards won't even get much. Uh, one round of shots. Two, oh, two, three, four. Okay, they do get quite a few shots in on the golem. But it's a max golem and they go down. Um, before this archer queen, I would have liked to see the wizards out to the side with that golemite still up, creating the funnel. But the AQ doesn't drift. She goes in. And might almost be afraid that the king would drift, but he's going to lock in on that queen. I don't know why the power happened there on the queen, and the king's about to use his power too. I don't know if these are mistaps, because he's at full health. Um, and we're not in a rush here, so there's a question about the hero ability use. But no question about the lava attack. He's got four rages left. Still all four air defenses to get, so uh, maybe he didn't get what he wanted out of that push. Things did go... A little bit north there with the funnel. Well, he's got four air defenses and four rages, so he's going to rage the one on each of the first two. Getting in there. Hounds are still at about half health. Let's speed up a little bit. Uh, nice. He has seven balloons back in the in the bag to come up on these uh, air defenses from the other side. And I don't even know if the fourth uh, rage was even necessary there. Still got a minion. Got some wall breakers he didn't use. Maybe those intended for the push. All right. Nice job, James. I'm gonna go up to Charles. Here's his second attack. He's coming in with a lava a loon attack with um, two golems. So you call that shat? No, shattered. This is called shattered. I don't keep up. Um, the question came up, James was asking, should I upgrade my golems or get the queen to level 15? Um, and I said to him, if you're going to do a two golem hog attack or a two golem lava loon, then you probably want that level four golem 
But I don't know if it's better than a level 15 queen, because the heroes are so important in every attack. So there's just a lot to do with the Dark Elixir, as well as spells, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Because speaking of spells, Charles is still bringing a lightning. This is kind of like pre-update clan castle stuff. Uh, I really think it would be better with a poison, and not not with that uh, that haste there. I think if you're going to use haste, this is the kind of attack to use it on, but it should be used like now. Like those, it should be two hastes instead of a rage. Take out that lightning, replace it with two hastes, uh, use that 11th spot or 9th spot for a poison, and then, yeah, 9th spot, Town Hall 9, and use those hastes to get those balloons into the base quicker in the beginning. We haven't really done that. And I think part of the reason might be back to that same question about what to upgrade. We don't really have upgraded haste too much in the clan. You see Charles' haste is level 1. And I was noticing that the duration goes up quite a lot as each level of haste happens. So you can kind of put it down and start your attack and still get there and not have to get your balloons in right away. So I think the more we upgrade our haste, the more we'll see people swapping out rages for couple of haste spells on these balloon attacks. So right now most people are sticking to what's comfortable. Just using rage because they know what it does. The point being by the way, if you haven't seen any videos, that balloons don't really need additional damage to kill most defenses. It's because two drops pretty much kills uh, archer towers and cannons. So you can just make them faster and have more spells with haste. But I think we need to upgrade our haste. Uh, here comes Goku. He's uh, bringing also a lava attack and he's got a one giant for the um, clan castle and I think he didn't bring a golem because he wanted this queen to be on the outside but he put his king down and the queen was inside the wall so unfortunately uh, she doesn't go down but his uh, kill squad is gonna get it his kill squad is gonna take out these troops and eventually get around to her and get one air defense that's pretty good for not bringing a golem. I don't know if that king was a mistap or if he just forgot to, to monitor her um, her position as she as she hops around the wall. Okay, but he's bringing in the two golems, raging to the first air defense, third hound, excuse me, two hounds, rage in, third hound, rage in. Again, with that exposed queen, he didn't have to bring a jump. He didn't have to bring a golem, so he just had a lot more kill squad troops. He had witches. And he's got plenty of balloons and all rages. So now the last hound is about to pop. But with his last rage, he can pretty much cover this entire. Co oh, he's got two rages left. It almost looks like he doesn't need it, but wizard towers can be murder on a pile of balloons. So I think he's going to go ahead and rage all of them just to make sure they don't evaporate right before his eyes. And he's got plenty of cleanup. Nice job, Goku. Uh, great point that Gun made in the video that he hosted uh, two videos ago. We have so many Town Hall 8s who are uh, mastering three-star attacks. We're seeing three stars by so many different people here this war. Alright, let's go on. Kung Fu Monkey. Another different attacker. Yeah, it's a Town Hall 10, but it's really Town Hall 9. Nothing's upgraded. Got some Town Hall 8 level defenses. Uh, he's coming in with the hog attack and he's going to take care of business with the queen. One thing I'll say about this golem, you'll notice when the uh, wall breakers go down, that wizard tower is going to turn toward them and almost get them on a splash. So as you're planning your um, push, always be checking the radius, the radii on the wizard towers, mortars, and even especially crossbows on flat on flat ground can can reach out and pop your breakers and not get you in where you want to be. Okay, it didn't matter here, but it can ruin a raid to have a certain wall not open up for your breakers. So now these hogs are going to encounter some exterior bombs. I think uh, Kung Fu Monkey was so surprised he didn't even, you know, stop dropping hogs to heal, but he gets his heels up. It's a terrible bomb placement. I guess that's the only place they could have been because there's no room in the core for them. So he unluckily hit two on the outside, but he's still got uh, two left, and they're going to cover half the base. 
so good. Now he's pretty slow here on the poison, and you'll watch by the time the poison goes down, the skeletons actually run out of it. See, there they are. They kind of miss. He's trying to get all the skeletons. I think that's probably the greatest area for improvement that we have uh, in these hog and balloon attacks is getting the poison down effectively to keep your troops up. It's not going to matter here, of course, uh, but it's a consideration for future attacks. Getting that automatized, just be like, okay, my troops are in, my heels are down, you know, and somewhere in that, be thinking about poison. Especially when you're getting to the core, because you know that's where those skeleton traps are going to pop open. Alright, Sir Patrick and Gun got some two stars. This is a two star, but I'm going to show it anyway just for discussion of Town Hall 10 three star techniques. I know one big problem I have is trying probably to go for the two star too much. Three star too much. It's exciting. It seems like that's what the game's about is trying to compete and uh, two stars is kind of boring didn't hurt us this war but I think there's the last war we drew and if I'd done a safe two star instead of a one star we would have won of course if anybody picked up one more star we would have won in a draw uh, but this was a mass witch and I was trying something that I saw in a replay putting golems out to each side to um, keep the witches going toward the center and not, not uh, run to the sides like they kind of do here in this compartment. I think the big flaw was I didn't realize that there was no wall behind this um, elixir storage here to the side and the skeletons really just flow to the right. And that's not a problem because we get the town hall and we get the infernos. And I was telling someone single infernos is kind of perfect for witch, they can't keep up. The, the infernos are killing one skeleton at a time. But I think the last rage, I don't think I realized how empty the core was, and I was going to rage out on this skull wall. That was my plan, not to jump out, because rage skeletons can just tear through skull wall. But if I had dropped it down where the king was on that other pile of skeletons, instead of here in the core, you'll see it in a second, where there's almost no skeletons. Look at how many skeletons are down here. If they had been under rage right now, and the ones who come along to replace them, I think this corner would have gone down a lot quicker, and the reason why this is not a three star is because the Archer Queen is here, she uses her ability, and she's going to get out in front of the rest of the skeletons. Okay, they're tanking for that cannon, they're tanking for this Tesla, but she's already used her ability and she has a lot of trash to get through before she can get to that Archer. Um, and, and I think time ends up being the factor, but I think if the skeletons had been out in front, if they'd gone through that skull wall and the queen hadn't gone down, might have gotten it. Alright, so just some thoughts on the mass witch at Town Hall 10. Alright, but like Gunn said in his video, we're thrilled to have so many people three-starring at the Town Hall 8 level with variety of attacks. Um, go, go, uh, ho, go, ho, lo, go, valo, all kinds of things. The clan's really coming along and we're looking forward to setting up some arranged matches soon. But until then, this is um, for more competition. This is Ezel Dog of Red Hot Heat with the Red Hot Replays and James Brown. And thank you for watching.